Hello guys and welcome back to Excel Show Academy. So today we'll be doing the last topic in the DNA replication, and that's uh, we are going to discuss about the telomeres and the telomerase. So before we talk about telomerase, first thing is to know about the telomeres. Okay. So guys, I hope uh, you remember when uh, once I was speaking about the red mechanism. Can you tell me uh, about the red mechanism? I have mentioned once only. Yes. it is a replication end the d loop mechanism okay so just please remember uh, okay so the major function of telomere is to cap the ends of the chromosomes and protect the chromosomes from the red mechanism now as cells divide telomeres continuously shorten with each successive cell cycle ye bhi humne discuss kiya tha right and telomerase it provides the necessary enzymatic activity to restore and maintain the telomere length so this is the second mechanism by which uh, <clears throat> by which a cell is actually maintaining the length of the telomeres okay what was the first mechanism we have discussed uh, using a protein uh, instead of a primer and yes. uh, the, instead of rna and that is the synthesis to be very good very good so that first mechanism is also known as protein priming okay good So the vast majority of tumors activate telomerase, and only few maintain telomeres by ALT mechanism, re relying on the recombination. So what is ALT? It is alternate lengthening of the telomere, which is happening in the case of the tumors. Okay. So guys, how does it happen? It's like you know, um, it's a signal. So if you keep on dividing. a cell gets a signal that after these many generation let's say around 40 to 50 generations okay the telomeres get shortened and at that time the cell should undergo apoptosis okay almost the telomere is gone it's not present sometimes so it's a signal to the cell to undergo apoptosis but in the case of tumor you have got over expression of the telomerase so kya hoga every time during the dna replication the telomeres are also getting replicated properly so they are not getting shortened so the inhibition uh, to the survival is prevented samajh mein aaya so the signal which should give uh, that the cell should undergo apoptosis is now inhibited in the case of the cancer cells is this uh, this part is clear to you Like how in the case of cancer, the telomerase is acting. Yes, sir. Okay, so the telomeres and the telomerase are the attractive targets for the anti-cancer therapeutics. So in the case of like cancer drugs, you can have anti, you know, anti-telomerase drugs, like which is going to inhibit the activity of the telomerase. Okay, so you can design drugs like since we know that it is RNA dependent. DNA polymerase. Okay, so your telomerase is also known as RNA dependent DNA polymerase. Now, what kind of drugs, as a scientist, you can think of it? Like, आप ऐसा क्या design करोगे जिससे आप telomerase को inhibit कर सकते हो? कौन से properties को आप target करोगे DNA uh, telomerase की? Think like a scientist. फ्रॉम बाइंडिंग टू एनीथिंग एल्स so like kind of you are talking about as a jo like in the case of competitive inhibition aisa yes yeah uh, since the target over here is the drug, sorry the substrate over here is the dna yes so we cap oh. the uh, cap the end of it okay you are talking about the end of it okay thoda sa complicated hai because then you need to design the drug also which is you know having the um, yeah structural morphology similar to the end of the dna 
right so that hmm. synthesizing it's quite difficult it's a good uh, i mean yeah of course it can be think of it but just imagine us to see like how economical it is this is the yeah. end hmm. of your dna right so you need hmm. to make this analog so that it can go for the competitive innovation and making this it's huge right so yeah. usse easy kya hoga this is like very complicated ye thoda bada ho jayega because you need to you know target this much area as a structurally aapko pura banana padega so that you can uh, inhibit the telomerase in the way of competitive innovation ye thoda sa complicated hai thoda nahi i think it's huge you know it's very complicated what else you can do stop the uh, polymerase activity of uh, telomerase yes so that, that it is one thing you can do so you see you know that jab hum isko rna dependent tna polymerase bol rahe hain and in the case of the eukaryotes many proteins okay many enzymes they have got so many subunits theek hai okay so when i say it is a rna dependent dna polymerase does it remind you of something else the activity of another enzyme i'll repeat rna dependent dna pol hai ye theek hai this is also similar to another enzyme okay i'll give you the hint आ रहा है थोड़ा सा आइडिया नहीं ओके आई गिव यू अनदर हिंट तनवी रिवर्स ट्रांसक्रिप्टेस यस वेरी गुड इट इज रिवर्स ट्रांसक्रिप्टेस सॉरी ओके सो आर एन डिपेंडेंट ई ने पॉलिमरेज इज आल्सो अ रिवर्स ट्रांसक्रिप्टेस सो व्हाट यू कैन डू यू कैन इनहिबिट द एक्टिविटी ऑफ आरटी तो आप क्या करोगे ना यू कैन मेक ड्रग्स विच इज ऑलरेडी देयर इन द मार्केट अगेन द रिवर्स ट्रांसक्रिप्टेज एक्टिविटी ऑफ द एंजाइम राइट सो वी नो दैट इन द केस ऑफ वायरस इट इज एंटरिंग इनटू द होस्ट सेल एंड फाइनली इट नीड्स रिवर्स ट्रांसक्रिप्टेज सो दैट इट कैन इंट्रोड्यूस इट्स और इंटीग्रेट इट्स आरएनए इनटू द होस्ट जीनोम राइट so the same molecule or not the same molecule the similar molecule which is targeting the virus can also be used against the telomeres right ye ek tarika ho gaya aapka drug banane ka now what will be the second method or second you know mechanism or type you can think of it this is one so here you are targeting the enzyme of the uh, the enzyme or the enzyme a catalytic component of the telomerase okay so this is good one is done what about the second mechanism <coughs> or socho in the name itself you can think of it rna dependent dna polymerase isi se hame idea mil jayega or socho so you have targeted i'll give you the hint okay you have targeted already the protein part of the telomerase now what else you can target can we questions clear hai mera yes ma'am okay aur kya kar sakte ho so you know what is telomerase rough idea what else you can target now nahi nahi aa raha no idea target the clamp sliding clamp uh, telomerase does not have any sliding clamp 
Sliding clamp in the case of P, uh, eukaryotes, okay. kya tha? PCNA, which is a different part, okay? It is not part of any DNA polymerase or telomerase. Telomerase is coming at the end of the replication. <coughs> so there is no question of having a uh, sliding clamp. Yes, what else? I will give you the answer to the answer. Otherwise, you guys won't get that thinking ability. Yes, Shruti, what do you think? RNA dependent DNA polymerase yeah, protein is going to be done. What do you think? The RNA itself. Exactly. Yes. So now you are going to target the RNA. So, the second part is going to be the RNA. Ka. Hai? Why? Because your telomerase is using the RNA. As template, correct? इसी को use करते हुए वो बनाता है आपका parental strand को लंबा कर देता है so that later the parental strand can act as a template for the daughter strand and then same mocha ki fragment and the DNA ligand and वगैरह वगैरह right? So I can directly target the RNA. Okay? So कैसे? So for this you can synthesize. So you know the sequence of the RNA of the telomerase. Remember what was the sequence? PTA triple G. I told you to remember, right? So you can make a sequence, a complementary sequence of this. So what? So what will be the complementary sequence here? A A U आ जाएगा यहाँ C C C आ जाएगा, right? So आपको RNA के complementary sequence बनाना है, which you are going to use that as the inhibitor. So जब Telomerase ka RNA component complementarily is se attached ho jayega. So it is not available now to act as template for extending the parental strand, right? So this is nothing but also known as your antisense technology, okay? So antisense oligonucleotides you are going to synthesize. Clear? Clear it? Yes, ma'am. Okay? Yes, ma okay. Yes. Okay, so this is how you need to think. Okay, whenever we are going, uh, when you have an uh, interview, you can ask any question from here. So you need to think about it. It's okay, let it be wrong. Okay, let it be wrong, it's okay. Now, like say for example, she said a sliding clamp about the PC and all. Not the telomerase, but of course, if you can target PCNA, so you can stop the DNA replication. Eventually, it is going to inhibit the cell, right? Cell ka proliferation stop ho jayega. So, yes, if you want to target the, you know, uh, like the cell should, should be stopped or prevented, then yes, of course, you can target the PCNA. But the problem with PCNA is that it is also involved in other mechanisms, normal cell cycle regulation. Correct? So if I target PCNA, it is going to affect the entire normal cell growth also. So along with the cancer, you are also targeting the normal cell. So eventually what will happen? The person is going to die. So we have to think about how we can target protein. Simple, it should be only affecting the cancer cell and not your normal cells. For example, we know that <coughs> in the case of cancer, you have seen many cancer patients, those, uh, they start losing their hair, right? Hair loss rehta hai. Is it only from their head or from the entire body? In the cancer patient, kaisa hota hai? So this is happening because of chemotherapy and uh, radiotherapy, right? The so, hair loss hota hai. So, is it only from the head or puri body mein se hota hai? I think it's full body, ma'am. Yes, it is full body, right? Because, see, in the case of chemo radiotherapy, it is targeting your stem cells. Okay? So, uske se kya hota hai? of course, it is not directly targeting the stem cells. The main motto is what? To kill the cancer cells. But if you see, the cancer cell has got the ability which is similar to the stem cells, like to proliferate. Right? So, jab bhi koi stem cell 
डिवाइड होता है ओके इट ऑल्सो डिवाइड एक सेल जो होता है अगेन बिकम्स अ स्टेम सेल एंड द अदर वन गेट्स डिफ्रेंशिएटेड तो इससे क्या होगा द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ स्टेम सेल इज नॉट गोइंग टू गेट डिक्रीज इट इज ऑलवेज मेंटेन सपोज इन योर बॉडी लेट से द बोन मारो टोटल थाउजेंड ऑफ स्टेम सेल्स आर देर ओके ये हमेशा पे रिटेन रहेगा After 30, 35 years of age, you will start losing them. But because of the chemo and radiotherapy, the chances of these thousand stem cells is going to get decrease. And this ke wajah se kya hoga? Hair loss not only from the head, but all over the body. Wherever you have got the hair stem cells, they start getting loose. Okay, wo marne lag jaate hain. And that's why there will be complete loss of the hair from the entire body. Okay, the basic thing hai yaha good. okay <coughs> let's go to the topic now so what are telomeres so we know that this we are going to just uh, read this thing so our bodies are composed of more than million cells and each cells are continuously dying and new cells are continuously being formed okay so inside the nucleus of a cell our genes are located on the twisted double stranded molecule of dna called the chromosomes yes we know that and all these chromosomes they have got the telomeres okay which protects our genetic data and make it possible to divide and hold us now this is also important right the uh, ad advantages of having the telomeres so already we have discussed so the entire chromosome has about 150 million base pairs and each time a cell divides average person loses around 30 to 200 base pairs from the ends of that cell telomeres okay Now this is because enzyme that duplicate the DNA cannot continue duplication at the end. So already we have discussed about this. Now <clears throat> cells normally can divide only about fifty to seventy times, which telomere is getting progressively shorter until the cell becomes senescent or die or sustain genetic damage that can cause cancer. Okay. Agar guys, आपको जैसे interest है cancer में काम करने के लिए, so you go to a research lab, right? Of course you are. But targeting CSR, you we will be joining some CSR lab, and जब भी हम किसी lab में जाएंगे, you uh, suppose you're working on cancer or any other uh, mammalian cells, okay, for some other purpose. So always you need to maintain. अभी human cells का क्या रहता है, mammalian cells का क्या रहता है? You know that in 24 hours it is going to divide, okay? So आपके पास petri dishes हैं, okay? आपने इसमें अपना cells डाला है, and you know that in 24 hours it is going to become double. तो आप स्टार्टिंग में कितना डालोगे वेरी लिटिल ठीक है नाउ इन द केस ऑफ मेमिलियन सेल आई होप यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड अबाउट डी एम ई एम मीडिया कभी सुना है क्या या आर पी एम आई मीडिया आर पी कभी सुना है क्या ये मीडिया इन एनिमल टिश्यू कल्चर नो अक्षय कभी लाइक यू गाइस हैव डन एनिमल टिश्यू कल्चर आई आई हैव हर्ड ऑफ द फर्स्ट वन काइंड ऑफ बट आई डोंट रिमेंबर द टेक्स्ट ऑफ इट ओके सो यू नो दैट व्हेनेवर वी डू एनिमल टिश्यू कल्चर का द प्लेट इज हैविंग अ मीडिया ऑफ सम पिंक कलर यस मैम हां दे ऑलवेज हैव गॉट द पिंक कलर का इन द सेल कल्चर एनिमल टिश्यू कल्चर देयर इज ऑलवेज दिस मीडिया ऑफ पिंक कलर ओनली चाहे आप डी एम ई एम लो या आर पी एम आई लो इट्स एक्चुअली अ इंडिकेटर बिकॉज ऑफ विच इट इज पिंक कलर सो वेन एवर योर सेल्स आर मल्टीप्लाइंग अफकोर्स दे आर हैविंग दो दे आर ऑल्सो रिलीजिंग द ग्रोथ मेटाबोलाइट ठीक है यानी कि उनका वेस्ट द सेल का वेस्ट सो दे आर गोइंग टू थ्रो इन टू दी मीडिया बाहर सो बिकॉज ऑफ दीज ग्रोथ मेटाबोलाइट द मीडिया इज गोइंग टू बिकम एसिडिक इन नेचर and because of which this pink color will turn into orange bright orange so this is an indication that aapka jo tissue jo petri dish hai wo full ho gaya hai okay there is no more media or nutrition uh, remaining now for the cells to divide abhi aapko kya karna hai aapko split karna hoga you have to provide the new media okay so <clears throat> what do you see is that agar aap mein the main purpose of me explaining this is when a cell is there let us say that you had only one okay and later after 3 4 days it became orange like from pink media it became orange now once you calculate after 3 4 days okay when you are going to calculate using your hemocytometer etc etc whatever method you have you will see that this cell is having has gone around 
फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी जनरेशन ओनली यानी कि वो फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी टाइम्स डिवाइड हुआ है एंड आफ्टर दैट इट गेट्स स्टॉप सो वन पर्टिकुलर प्राइमरी सेल प्लीज रिमेम्बर हाँ इन द केस ऑफ मेमिलियन सेल्स एम टॉकिंग अबाउट तो प्राइमरी सेल क्या हुआ वॉट इज द प्राइमरी सेल लाइन बेसिक तनवी एनी आइडिया प्राइमरी सेल लाइन क्या होता है नहीं श्रुति तुम मैम या प्राइमरी सेल लाइन इज तो सेल लाइन दैट इज डायरेक्टली टेकन फ्रॉम द इंडिविजुअल एंड देन ग्रोन ऑन द मीडिया क्या क्या फिर से बोलना सेल लाइन दैट इज प्रोड्यूस बाय टेकिंग आउट द सेल डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम द इंडिविजुअल उसके बाद क्या होगा द सेल्स आर गोइंग टू डाई ठीक है इसलिए इफ यू इफ यू वर्क ऑन दीज प्राइमरी सेल लाइन देन इट बिकम्स डिफिकल्ट अगर आप किसी कैंसर सेल में काम कर रहे हो तो देर इज नो प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज दे आर इमोटेड सेल लाइन Continuously, it can divide. So, no problem. Nahi hai. But if suppose your research work is on the primary cell line, then every time you need to take the tissue, every time you have to start, uh, you know, the experiment from the very beginning. So that's why, <coughs> that's why it is uh, what to say, difficult line of research. Like uh, if suppose you lose the cell or uh, because of some drug you added, the cell is dead. Then again, you have to start from the tissue. So that's why it becomes little difficult. okay yeah uh so yes now we now we know that why the cell is dying, dying because the telomeres are getting short and later they die because of the apoptosis okay now in human blood cells the length of telomeres ranges from 8000 base pair at birth to 3000 as people age telomeres do not shorten with age in tissues such as heart muscles in which cells do not continuously divide so here again so we know that the heart The cells are not dividing, and that's why their telomeres are not getting shortened. Okay, these are the few things which you need to remember because based on these uh, uh, sentences only, the questions are being uh, framed. Okay, ma'am, ma'am, ha, ha. Then, uh, even in brain, the uh, the cells don't divide. Yes, so, yes. Uh, after certain given, time, yes. yes. After certain age, the neurons stop dividing. <coughs> so there also yes now the thing is like abhi aap se agar ye abhi aap pooch sakte ho ki agar uh, heart cells divide nahi ho rahe neuronal cells divide nahi ho rahe hain right so kaise it is maintain like how are you getting my point abhi jab wo divide hi nahi ho rahe hain to just imagine how much work is there work load is there on these existing heart muscle cell and the neuronal cells right isliye you have to have a healthy life after 30 35 because you are not going to have the division of these cells okay abhi kuch damage hoga so what will happen if any accident is happening or you are getting a heart attack so what will happen now there will be the loss of these existing cells and hence the uh, life span shortens then okay तो जब तक आप छोटे हो यू आर लाइक इन द टीन एज एंड ऑल तो आप कितने बार भी गिरो कितने बार भी हड्डियां तोड़ो एवरीथिंग इज फाइन यू विल बी हील्ड प्रॉपरली बट आफ्टर थर्टी थर्टी फाइव यू हैव टू टेक केयर ऑफ योर हेल्थ एंड दैट्स वी पीपल से ना कि आप हमेशा एक्सरसाइज करते रहोगे सो इट इज गुड बिकॉज दीज एक्सरसाइज थिंग्स आर रिलीजिंग द गुड एंटी ऑक्सीडेंट विच विल कीप योर न्यूरोनल सेल्स हार्ट सेल्स इन हेल्थी एनवायरमेंट Okay. Okay. Now we are just getting um, uh, moving to the different topic itself. Okay. <clears> ha. <throat> huh. So this is just the uh, cartoon representation of the same. So you know that this is the your first young cell. Okay. So as it keep on dividing. Okay. This is not getting replaced. Okay. So what will happen? You can see that now the telomeres are not there. So you will see that in the case of the old age people, the telomeres are almost not present, and those cells are dying eventually. 
Okay. Now look at the graph. This graph is important. Okay. So you this is the number of cell division versus number of nucleotides. So here on the y-axis, you have got the nucleotides, and on here, x-axis, you have got the number of cell divisions. Okay. So Akshay, what do you understand from this graph? You can see that as the cell division is going, you can see the graph is like this. Okay. So what is the conclusion over here? Let us say that this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 10, uh, 5, and 6. And each cell division is happening after 10 years. Old, like something like that. So, this 60 years. Ka diya hua hai. Just imagine like that. Yes. So, what yes. can we conclude? Uh, number of, hmm. uh, that uh, the telomeres are uh, getting reduced and reduced. So, the number of nucleotides is also gradually decreasing. That's why we age. Yes. So, yes. that's why we see that there is a falling slope over here like this so with the increase or uh, with more number of cell divisions the number of nucleotides in the telomeres is keep on reducing okay good i mean it looks very simple now right graph is looking very simple but the question is confusion anyways so how your telomere structure looks like so they are composed of the repeated sequences Okay, and they have got the telomeric interacting proteins. Now, this telomeric interacting protein is also a very important concept, and they are known as children. Have you guys studied about children in your college, BSc, MSc? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. okay. So, what is the main function of children? There are two main functions. What are those? Yes, Shruti? And they actually uh, cap the tel uh, telomeres so that uh, the cell doesn't repair the telomeres like it repairs everything, all the other uh, single channel DNA. And it uh, also... Because, uh, it because the telomere is looking like a double-stranded break. So it is yes. going to cap. Yeah. Otherwise, it will undergo the repairing mechanism. So what will repair? Hoga to? Isko aise denge. Hmm. Which is not correct, right? Okay, what is the next step? Uh, next uh, application? Uh, it also, uh, I think it surrounds the cap because it, it makes this D loop structure. So, uh, and then it caps the rest. I, I'm not very sure about it. It was, uh, it was in first year. Okay, so uh, what you said is this is correct that it is capping the telomeres. Okay, so this is happening. Okay, anyways, it is there in the upcoming slides. It's okay, we'll discuss here itself. See, as we know that the telomere DNA is thought to adopt a T loop structure. Now, this T loop structure is why it is coming, is because of these children. The structure of the telomere, you will see that it has got T and D loop, the displacement loop is there. Now, why it is there? Because of the children. A shelter in the first come kya hai? to cap the telomeres because I know it is going to uh, it is it is helping in the prevention from the DNA repair enzymes, okay? Because it will look like a double stranded break. So it is capping the telomeres. Second is in the case of these stem cells, okay, embryonic or the hematopoietic stem cells, it is recruiting the telomerase. This is the second function. Hai. First, kya hai? in the somatic cells, it is going to cap the ends of the telomeres. Okay, second function can to recruit the telomerase. And the samaj me are children is present in both the somatic as well as the stem cells. Stem cells may it is also helping in the recruitment of the telomerase. And in the case of the somatic cells, where the telomerase is absent, it is helping in capping the telomerase, uh, telomers. It's not clear. Eh? Okay. <clears throat> okay, so this is the structure. You can see that we have got the overhang over here, right? So what kind of overhang is this is called? If you see the structure, the TTA, G, TTA, triple G is there. So what kind of overhang this is? 5 dash overhang or 3 dash overhang? Yes, can we call it that? Are it's okay if you're wrong, I'll kill you. Yes, can we call it that?
it is there in the front i just want to i'm asking these questions because it tells uh, tells me you know, how much basic understanding is here like aapko kitna samajh mein aa raha hai i have not asked a hard question okay akshaya what do you think what kind of overhang it is you have got 5 dash over here and 3 dash over here overhang matlab kya hota hai अगर यहां तक होता तो दिस इज काइंड ऑफ ब्लांट एंड जो हमने मूल बायो में अबाउट द रेस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम्स में पढ़ा होगा राइट इफ आई हैव गॉट समथिंग लाइक दिस सॉरी कुछ ऐसा दिखता है तो यू ऑलवेज से दैट इट इज स्टिकी एंड ओके नाउ व्हाट काइंड ऑफ ओवरहैंग इट इज यहां पे आपको क्लियर दिखाई दे रहा है यहां पे 5 डैश है यहां पे 3 डैश है तो ये किस तरह का ओवरहैंग है ओवरहैंग मतलब एक्स्ट्रा लटका हुआ राइट तो दिस इज व्हाट काइंड ऑफ ओवरहैंग थ्री डैश यस इट इज थ्री डैश सिंपल ओके आई वाज जस्ट चेकिंग द कॉन्फिडेंस अबाउट लाइक हाउ मच यू हैव सबको लगा था थ्री डैश ओवरहैंग है एवरीवन थॉट दैट दिस इज थ्री डैश ओवरहैंग यस मैम तो बोलना है ना बी कॉन्फिडेंट ओके my motto is along with the theory you should be confident for the interview frankly guys anyone can clear csar sirf interview clear karna bahut important hai aajkal because everyone knows the competition is high so uh, isliye interview clear karna bahut important ho gaya hai and mere time pe to sirf one round of interview tha now it's like three rounds of interview every day okay no problem <clears throat> just be confident now that's the structure of the telomerase can you see Are you able to locate the RNA over there? Can you see along with the protein alpha beta? Uh, you can see that there is a RNA structure also. Can you see this purple color? Wala? Okay. So we know that. Uh, okay. Does anything counteract the telomere shortening? Yes, it is telomere. So it is going to add the pieces to the ends of the telomere. So in the young cells, telomeres are there. So they help in you know uh, keeping the uh, division good as it is now they grow short, shorter as a cell is going to age now telomerase is turned off in the somatic cells but remains active in the sperms and the eggs which is passed from one generation to the next and also in the case of your uh, stem cells okay now telomerase activity is lower absent in the normal cells and all etc so this and all we don't telomerase now it is important this uh, this point is important that it is composed of catalytic subunits h tert and h tr where h stands for human okay h stands for human now let's see the structure <coughs> okay this is the structure this is nothing guys you can just read also later so we know that it's a ribonucleoprotein So why it is ribonucleoprotein? Because it has got the RNA as well as the protein. It has got the three dash overhang. Okay. Now telomeres protect the end of the chromosome from the DNA damage, etc., etc. Pehla study we have done in Milano reaction. Now this is the sequence in the case of Trypanosoma brucei. So there is another slide which I had kept for you, where you can see the uh, sequences of the Trypanosoma. Me kaisa diya hai, or uh, dusre brucei me kaisa diya, and humans me kaisa diya. I can show you now. Ha. Yeah. अगर आप यहां से देखो थोड़ा बहुत तो सिमिलर लगता है राइट right? This is like T T A triple G only. अगर हम देखें तो है ना बट दिस डिफरेंस क्या है दिस इज फाइव डैश थ्री डैश बट ये आपका थ्री डैश फाइव डैश है एंड अगेन दिस इज फाइव डैश थ्री डैश है थोड़ा सा अंतर पता चला इवन दो द सीक्वेंस इज सेम द डिरेक्शन इज डिफरेंट ओके ना द डिफरेंस इन द डिरेक्शन इज मेकिंग Telomere is also different in all the species. So from this, you should understand that the telomere, telomerase, is species specific. Okay, 
ये पॉइंट क्लियर हो गया तो वाई एम से गिविंग मोर स्ट्रेस टू दिस पॉइंट इज बिकॉज द क्वेश्चन वॉज एयर whether the telomerase is speech specific or not okay ab isse wo cheez prove ho jati hai is this much clear to you guys okay so let's sun yes ha huh, yes In, uh, someone was asking question yeah yeah uh, but the, there are large groups of organisms that have the same uh, sequence and therefore probably the same telomerase right so that all mammals have exactly the same one so uh, mammals uh, are species specific i said so human species is going to have the same kind of telomerase hmm. yeah. yeah but then dolphins and humans also have the same telomerase as well no the difference will be there dolphins are coming under the category of mammal no not mammals ha na i don't i forgot dolphins comes under mammals only kya because they also lay yeah yeah they, they do okay so no i mean if you ask me like this this is also confusing for me but uh, no i guess dolphin is not coming under the human species but right yeah but they have the same tail uh, the sequence is the same though you are telling me or asking me uh i was just try- trying to say that uh, a large groups of animals generally have the same uh, tel- uh, telomerase structures so is it species specific or uh, like because a large group of organism has the same telomerase i, I was not sure about the species part because large groups See, have the same telomerase large group of organism means <clears throat> okay so see uh, what i studied and what i understood is that when i say species specific okay humans comes under one species let it be from any continent okay then yeah. the aquatic animals they have got the different but i don't think they will come under the species let us okay we all are mammals but we are not coming under the same category right okay okay जैसे कि जो आपका रिवर्स ट्रांसक्रिप्टेज का जो एक्टिविटी का जो डोमेन है दैट इज कंजर्व लाइक दैट यू कैन से सी दैट्स व्हाई देयर इज वन सॉफ्टवेयर मे बी आई हैव मेंशन आई डोंट नो अबाउट द पाइमोल इट्स अ फ्री सॉफ्टवेयर एक्चुअली ओके तो इट्स अ फ्री सॉफ्टवेयर आप उसको डाउनलोड करके उसमें जो भी आपके रहेंगे लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल द प्रोटीन्स व्हिच आर प्रेजेंट ओके so those you can see the structures over there okay guys am i audible to you 